In today's show, with upside targets of $28,000 for Bitcoin on the table, Bitcoin traders are still in favor of $20,000 lows as Ethereum hits $2,000, quote incredible crypto, relief went a bit higher than expected, but looks like a liquidity grab of local highs, and still think a move down to green before continuation to $28,000 plus makes the most sense. Cleaned up the chart a bit to make things more clear, invalidation at $20,700, until then bullish as what? on any dips and crypto tony shares an update stopped out my long after my first target was hit yesterday but now looking to open along while we're above the range high here targeting high 20s of 27 to 28,000 as long as we remain above the range high and quoting trader j if you see my tweet and buy bitcoin at 18 to 19,000 then you are 30 percent in profit without leverage honestly saying right now i don't feel safe I will buy higher. Also in today's show, Bitcoin mining revenue jumped 68.6% .6 from the lowest earning day of 2022. That's right. Since July 2022, the Bitcoin ecosystem recovered across numerous determinants, including miners' revenue in dollars, network difficulty, and hash rate. Also in today's show, Celsius Network is bankrupt. So why is Celsius price up 4,000% in the past two months? Well, here's one of the reasons. Ripple is interested in acquiring bankrupt Celsius Network assets. Reuters reports. That's right. Reuters reported that Ripple is interested in Celsius assets, but there is no confirmation yet from either companies. Also in today's show, Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin says the date of the merger is dependent upon hash rate and points to September 15th. I'll be sharing the latest updates from Vitalik. And as Lark Davis shares here, the Ethereum merge is a bigger and more important event than the Bitcoin having What? Also in today's show, top crypto analyst details bullish scenario that can send Bitcoin surging by nearly 50%. That's right. Justin Bennett says that after breaking above 26,500, Bitcoin will have to overcome the $30,000 level in order to appreciate by about 46% from the current price and hit the next big target of $38,000. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market, all this, plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. I also do a $50 Bitcoin giveaway every single day. And the winner from yesterday's episode is, we have Tony H. Congratulations. He wrote the following comment, Ishcoin might go belly up after the merge. Most people chase price instead of technology. Otherwise, more people would be heavily involved in blue chips like Chainlink, XRP, and Ethereum. Ethereum is a living, evolving blockchain. Ishcoin is dead and requires sell pressure and layer twos. The function, well, congratulations. Congratulations, fam. You just won $50 in Bitcoin, aka the ish coin you're referring to. Ironic enough, please reply to this comment with your Bitcoin address so I can send it to you. HODL. And to qualify to win $50 in tomorrow's $50 Bitcoin giveaway, all I need to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel, Will Smith, that like button, and drop a comment below, and a random comment will be selected as the winner in tomorrow's episode. Best of luck. And today's episode is brought to you by iTrust Capital, the number one crypto IRA platform in the world. And I have some big announcements to share. USC Athletics just partnered with iTrust Capital, meaning iTrust Capital is now the official crypto platform of the USD Trojans. And more breaking news. Check out this tweet. We know you've been banging your heads asking when staking. Well, it's now. We're happy to announce that Polkadot is our first stakeable asset. So go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below to take advantage of this. You can also buy, sell, and trade 25 cryptos as well as precious metals, gold and silver. There are no monthly fees and only 1% transaction fees. There's institutional grade storage and you can get started today with only $1,000 to open your account. And if you sign up today using my referral link, you're going to receive a $100 Bitcoin reward to fund your account. So go ahead and do so and let's get this crypto tax-free. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. This is podcast episode number 1016, and I'm your host, JV. The Bitcoin is still due to return near $20,000. Fresh analysis warns as Bitcoin attempts to retest multi-month highs. And right here, looking at the Bitcoin, one-hour candle chart. Now, data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and TradingView should Bitcoin staging a second run-up to near $25,000 on August 13th. And so far, seeing a rejection, Bitcoin gained over $1,300 overnight. But as the bulls again ran out of momentum near crucial resistance, few were optimistic over Bitcoin avoiding a deeper come down. One last high to wreck early shorts, popular trading account Crypto Capo told his Twitter followers. And similarly cautious was fellow trader Jay, who said that he would even prefer to wait and buy higher than spot price to rule out any trend reversals. As he shared here, if you see my tweet and buy Bitcoin at 18 to $19,000, then you are 30% in profit without leverage. Honestly saying, right now, I don't feel safe. 
I will buy higher. And more bullish was trading account Credible Crypto, who argued that any corrections would still be bullish unless 20,700 was broken. Couldn't him here. Relief went a bit higher than expected, but looks like a liquidity grab of local highs. And I still think a move down to the green before continuation to 28,000 plus makes most sense. Cleaned up the chart a bit to make things more clear. Invalidation at 20,700. Until then, bullish as what? On any dips, and quitting Crypto Tony in his latest update, stopped out my long after my first target was hit yesterday, but now looking to open a long while we are above the range high here, targeting high 20s of twenty-seven dollars to $28,000 as long as we remain above the range high. Meanwhile, Ethereum returns to $2,000 after an 11-week hiatus. That's right, on the altcoin market, Ether was in the driving seat after an overnight surge took ETH to $2,000 for the first time since May. That's right, Ether achieved its best performance since May 23rd, seeking to consolidate near the highs at the time of this recording, which you can see here in this chart. While on-chain analyst material scientists alluded to the worst being yet to come for the Ether bulls, Ethereum's crypto market cap share nonetheless crossed 20%, while Bitcoins fell under 40%, according to data data from coin market cap and as previously reported a dedicated indicator already called the start of an alt season with a stronger signal than at any time since june 2021 this month and plan b updates us here bitcoin s p 500 decoupling or bitcoin just lagging s p could this be a v-shaped recovery now check this out the lowest price of bitcoin each and every year dating back to 2013 was just 13 dollars in 2014 311 dollars in 2015 172 dollars 2016 300 $62, 2017, $789. Then we got a nice parabolic rise up in 2018 to 3,237, 2019, 3,400, 2020, $4,860. And in 2021, another parabolic run up all the way to 29,354. And this year, thus far, the low is $17,600. And before I break down next story of the day, Bitcoin mining revenue jumped 68.6% .6 from the lowest earning day of 2022. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market as you can see all the major cryptos are currently pumping and in the green we got bitcoin up almost three percent for the day trading at around twenty four thousand five hundred dollars we have ether up over five percent hanging out at around two thousand dollars while binance coin solana cardano xrp and polka dot all breaking out and in the green. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. The Bitcoin mining industry endured immense financial stress throughout the year of 2022 as a prolonged bear market directly impacted their earnings when translated to the US dollar. However, miners' resilience for the year's lowest mining revenue day, June 13th, witnessed a 68.63% increase in mining revenue within a month. That's right. And over the year, revenue from Bitcoin mining dropped due to a multitude of factors centered around investor sentiment, driven by tensions arising from market crashes, ecosystem collapses, and loss-making investments. Now, cutting through the noise, cutting through the matrix, right? The Bitcoin ecosystem recovered across numerous determinants, including miners' revenue in dollars, network difficulty, and hash rate. And here in this chart, you can see the miners' revenue. Now, data from blockchain.com confirms that Bitcoin mining revenue jumped nearly 69% in just one month from 13 .9 million on July 13th to 23.4 million on August 12th. The significant increase in mining revenue reassures Bitcoin mining as a viable business despite high operational costs. And in addition, lower mining equipment, GPU prices have allowed Bitcoin miners to expand their existing infrastructure as they pursue mining the last 2 million BTC. And alongside mining revenue, the Bitcoin hash rate grew over 10% over the last month, adding to the network's resilience against double spending attacks. However, as a result, network difficulty Difficulty, a measure of how difficult it is to mine a new Bitcoin block increased for the first time since June. And as we all know, the Bitcoin price follows the hash rate. Now mirroring the positive outcomes across the Bitcoin network, crypto mining companies reported increased stock prices over the last month, including HUT8 Mining Corp, Marathon Digital Holdings, and Core Scientific revealed skyrocketing stock prices, each performing at least 95% better than June 2022. And all three companies, however, posted widened losses driven by impairment losses on their crypto holdings. So there you have it. And before I break down next story of the day, Celsius Network is bankrupt. So why in the world is sell price up 4,000% in the past two months. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap, sitting just under $1.2 trillion with over $70 billion in volume. In the past 24 hours, the Bitcoin dominance on the decline at 39.8%, with the Ether dominance on the climb at 20.7%. And checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers in the past 24 hours, we have Celsius leading the pack up a whopping 49% for the day, trading at $3.71, followed by Lido Dow up 14%, trading at $2.90, followed by Polygon slash Mac 
Matic up almost 9%, trading just under $1. And checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers for the past week, you can see Cell leading the pack up a whopping 177%. We got Hex up 37% and Nexo up 34.1%. And checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we are currently rated a 46 out of 100 in fear. Yesterday a 42, last week a 31, and last month an 18 in extreme fear. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Crypto lending platform Celsius Network has an approximately $1.2 billion gap in his balance sheet with most liabilities owed to its users. And in addition, the firm has filed for bankruptcy protection, so its future is looking bleak. But still, Celsius's native token sell has soared in valuation by over 4,100% in the last two months, reaching around $3.93 on August 13th, compared to its mid-June bottom of 9.3 cents. And in comparison, top coins Bitcoin and Ether rallied 40% and 130% in the same period. Now let's discuss the takeover rumors behind the sell explosion. Technically, the price rally made sell an excessively valued token in early August when its RSI crossed above the 70 threshold and takeover rumors appear to be behind sell's upside strength. Notably, Ripple wants to purchase Celsius Network's assets, according to an anonymous source cited by Reuters on August 10th. As shared here, just then, Ripple is interested in acquiring bankrupt Celsius Network assets, Reuters reports. And as detailed in this article entitled Ripple Labs Interested in Purchasing Celsius Assets. And as shared here, Reuters reported that Ripple is interested in Celsius assets, but there is no confirmation yet from either companies. Celsius has halted withdrawals from the platform since June and has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, which will enable them gradually to pay back what they owe. Now, how many of you have your crypto assets locked up in Celsius and currently can't touch them? Let me know in the comments below. Now, what's interesting, there's an army of retail traders also appearing to be behind Cell's giant upside push in the last two months. Some traders have organized a short squeeze to limit Cell's downside prospects. A short squeeze is when an asset's price rises suddenly, forcing short sellers to buy back the asset at a higher price to close their positions. As shared here, Bitcoin and Celsius update. Bitcoin is very choppy, so my focus is on altcoins and Cell. I'd like Bitcoin to hold 22,000 for bullish bias. Cell wants breakout again. I am looking to buy more above 2.6 with sell short squeeze army behind it could sell pump to three dollars next so it's possible to create a short squeeze because the sells lowering circulating supply primarily due to the freeze on the celsius networks token transfers now interestingly ftx had about 5.1 million celsius tokens on august 13th approximately 90 percent of the total circulation across exchanges meanwhile the amount of open short positions on the exchange was around 2.6 million celsius versus the monthly high of 2.9 million celsius on August 11th. So in other words, short traders have closed about 300,000 sell positions in just two days. Now what's next for the Celsius token? Short squeezes are hard to sustain over a long period. History has shown and such prospects put sell at the risk of facing extreme correction in the coming weeks or months. And as said, the token is already overbought, which further adds up to the downside outlook and drawn a Fibonacci retracement graph from $6.50 swing high to $0.39 cent swing low. Turns out interim support and resistance levels for sell. Notably, the token now eyes a breakout above the 0.618 Fibonacci line of $4.21 with its upside target at $5.25 up 45% from today's price and conversely, a break below the support level of the 0.5 Fibonacci line at $3.48, risk crash and sell towards $2.75, down 25% from the current price level. So there you have it. And before I break down next way of the day, Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin says data of the merge is dependent upon the hash rate and points to September 15th, as well as we discussed top crypto analysts detailing a bullish scenario that could send the Bitcoin price surging by nearly 50% to $38,000. But first I wanna remind you to smash the show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,200 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. And to qualify to win $50 in tomorrow's $50 Bitcoin giveaway, just make sure you subscribe to the channel, Will Smith, that like button and drop a comment below and a random comment will be selected on tomorrow's show as the winner. And I wish you the best of luck. And of course, you can follow me all across the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, home of the Joe Rogan experience, to Apple's iTunes and Google Play and all across social media from crypto twitter facebook telegram instagram and tiktok so wherever you at be sure to plug in and follow me there but all right now let's break down our next story of the day the co-founder of ethereum is providing an update about when the project will initiate the long-awaited network transition from proof of work to proof of stake leading smart contract platform creator vitalik buterin gives his 4.1 million twitter followers a detailed technical breakdown of the computing power required to complete the final block on ethereum before the switch to eth 2.0 a metric known as terminal total 
difficulty. Buterin anticipates September 15th will mark the milestone event as long as one factor holds. As Vitalik shares here, the terminal total difficulty has been set to this crazy number. This means the Ethereum Proof of Work Network now has a roughly fixed number of hashes left to mine. Bortle.wtf predicts the merge will happen around September 15th, though the exact date depends upon the hash rate. Now, hash rate measures the processing power of the Ethereum network. Blocks are hashed and added to each blockchain as miners solve complex mathematical puzzles to confirm transactions. The hash rate indicates the number of times per second that the network can try to solve a puzzle and with a higher hash rate indicating an increasingly robust network that is more secure against an attacker. Now, Buterin recently said he expected each price to rise significantly once the transaction was successful, a sentiment echoed by former BitMEX CEO Arthur Hayes, who are ultimately saying that the merge is not priced in yet for the Ether price. Now, earlier this week, the US dollar stablecoin issuer Circle announced it would only support the proof of stake chain once Ethereum 2.0 is operational, calling it the sole valid home for USDC relative to any potential network forks. Now, decentralized Oracle network Chainlink also said it will not support forked versions of Ethereum after the ETH upgrade is complete. While Ethereum is heading into the weekend trading sideways, the second largest crypto asset by market cap remains up 13.6% over the last seven days and is currently priced at about $2,000. And quoting crypto analyst Lark Davis, the Ethereum merge is a bigger and more important event than the Bitcoin having. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments below. But now let's break down our final story of the day. A top crypto trader and analyst is revealing how the king crypto can soar by nearly 50%. That's right, crypto analyst Justin Bennett tells his YouTube subs that if the price of Bitcoin closes above 24,200, that the next target is 26,500, quoting him here. Now, if we get those reclaims above 23,450 and $24,200, then the next resistance area for Bitcoin is going to be around mid $25,000. So right around 25,400 followed by mid 26,000 is right around $26,500. And Bennett says that after breaking above 26,500, Bitcoin will have to overcome the $30,000 level in order to appreciate by about 46% from the current price and hit the next big target of $38,000, which he shares here. So if we can see Bitcoin reclaim those two levels that I mentioned and start to move higher over the coming days, then here are the two key areas I am watching over the coming weeks. Now, the first one comes in right around $30,000, and that's that's because the consolidation that we saw back in May. So $30,000 area is going to be a huge area for Bitcoin. And above that, we do have confluence of resistance of around $38 thousand dollars. But once again, Bitcoin has to get above those two levels I mentioned. So 23,450 and also 24,200 on a daily closing basis to really confirm the breakout and set the market up for these levels. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the crypto analyst. Now, the crypto trader also says that the rate of inflation in the U.S. will also play a role in determining Bitcoin's price direction. According to Bennett, a lower inflation means less aggressive rate hikes, which means bullish markets for crypto. And citing the CPI data released on Wednesday, which indicated that the U.S. inflation fell to 8.5%, Bennett says it could suggest that inflation has peaked, quoting him again here. It was nice to see CPI coming lower than forecast today. It wasn't a great number, but it's still a better number than we got last time. And it also beat the forecast. So that is something. And I think it could mark peak inflation, which would be very bullish for the markets. So if the markets believe that this is peak inflation, it could be bullish for the crypto market as well as the stock market. And to watch this entire video entitled Why Crypto Bears Are Screwed, check the show notes below the video in the description. And let me know if you agree or disagree with his $38,000 Bitcoin price prediction and when you feel the king crypto is likely to return to this level. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, Matthew wrote, JV, I think the BlackRock plus Coinbase team up was big. I think the new BlackRock fund is bigger, but I think the big sovereign wealth funds and other big players that will enter because of BlackRock, that will be what gets us to the $1 million Bitcoin price. $1 million Bitcoin. Send it. And our next featured comment comes from B Styles. JV, great show as always. I have not commented in a while, but still hodling strong like a mofo and doing some dollar cost averaging every day across the King Crypto ETH and some ish coins. I think we'll survive the winter. I say at $773,000, we all light up a big green what? Let's freaking go BlackRock and Crypto News Alerts. That's right. Love it, fam. $773,000 Bitcoin. Let's go. And our third and final featured comment comes from Bruno Raber. Smartest thing you can do is smash that like, follow JV and Crypto News alerts and hodl, hodl, hodl. Touche fam. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop a comment below that will automatically qualify you to win $50 in tomorrow's $50 Bitcoin giveaway. I wish you all the best of luck. I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.